welcome to Soup Talk Recipes. Today we are not cooking. I'm just gonna sit here and uh, answer some of the questions that you guys ask me often and tell a bit story about myself. I am from south of China, a small city called Shaoguan. Even though I say it's small, but there are 3 million people live in that city. Currently, I live in Florida. I just moved here a year ago. I hope this will be a place that we can finally settle down. We just completed the renovation. We'll show you my new kitchen another day. Let's continue with the questions. I have lived in Ecuador on and off for a couple of years. What took me there? My boyfriend wanted to move back to USA. I couldn't come to USA because I didn't have a visa back then. We picked Ecuador for a few reasons. It's visa friendly for Chinese citizen and the living cost can be so low. $600 rent, you can get a riverfront penthouse and the food is cheap. You can get $2 meal everywhere. Your stomach will be full and happy. If you go to a nicer restaurant, $15, $20 is plenty. We didn't make that much money, so low living costs is a big benefit for us. Another reason is that I am suffering serious arthritis pain. We thought Ecuador, Equator can be a warm place for us. My mom is from Hunan province. My dad is Hakka people and I grew up in a Cantonese environment. So I got different kinds of culture around me while growing up. That is why I can cover many cuisines in my video. My family wasn't rich. Both of my parents needs to work as much as they can to support us. I got two little sister. I have to take care of them and cook for the family since I was nine or 10. I don't really remember, but I have been always interested in cooking since I was little. I didn't go to school to learn how to cook. Just my parents, they would teach me a little by little when they can. I guess I just learned everything while growing up and I enjoyed it. That is why in my videos, you can tell that I'm not professionally trained. I will admit that. <laughs> but I do have some type of understanding about how the ingredients affect and work with each other. I will tell you why I'm doing it this way, not the other way. I believe not only you should know how to do it, but also you should understand the reason behind it. So next time, if there is a similar situation comes up, you can use the same idea. I ran a traditional Chinese medicine tea shop when I was in college. It's not the green tea, red tea that you know about. It is the bitterest. Chinese medicine tea <laughs> because my major in college was Chinese medicine. However, I graduated and I worked for a medicine company. I didn't like the environment, so I became a sales manager for ingredient delivering company. We sell and deliver all kinds of ingredients to restaurants. We have so many customers big restaurants, small street vendors, anything you can imagine. <laughs> I talk directly to their chef and understand their requirements and standards for the ingredients and dishes. I mean, nobody will share their secret with you, but in some ways, that job really helped improve my skills. After that, I started this channel for a few reasons. I love cooking. That's the most important reason. <laughs> Second, when I started three years ago, there were not that many channel focusing on Chinese food in English. I want to do that to spread out the culture. Last, I want to create something that I could do from anywhere and it will exist forever. When I'm old, I can look back and be proud of myself. I had a part-time help for about five videos. That was uh, three years ago, but then we traveled here and there. There's no way I can carry the help everywhere around the world. So now everything is on my own. Testing, filming, editing, and some questions from you guys. Lots of work, but fun. <laughs>
it is hard to divide the Chinese cuisine simply as South or North. There are mainly eight cuisines in China that are widely known by the world. You can find lots of information about that on Google. We have 34 provinces. Each province cuisine can be very different. We also have 54 ethnic groups. Each of them has their own cooking culture as well. The Han people also have some different civil groups, such as Hakka, Chaoshan, Guangfu, Minnan. It is impossible for my channel to cover every cuisine in China. Right now, it mainly focuses on Cantonese, Sichuan, Hakka, Hunan. I often do other popular dishes that are widely known all over China. They could be from Beijing, Xinjiang, Taiwan, Dongbei. There is no way that I will run out of recipes because China is so big. There are many food that I haven't even heard about. The more I learn, the stronger I feel like I know so little about cooking. To be honest, a lot of the recipes it is my first time making them, so I do have experience of failing. For example, I made a crispy pork belly three years ago. I don't think that is a perfect recipe. I want to make it better recently, so I spent a couple of weeks trying different methods. I went through two huge slabs of pork belly and I still couldn't get effects that I want, so I just I just cried like a baby. Really, <laughs> I had to put it away and move on. The pork belly was holding on to me. I couldn't I couldn't catch up one week video because of that. I'm still not happy about it. A lot of you have been asking me about the cookbook. I'm actually working on it. I'm collecting all the popular recipes that are on my channel, the ones that you guys already love. Some of the recipes weren't perfect when I made the video. In this cookbook, I will make them better. I will also put a lot of pictures with simple and clear instructions. If you're interested, you should sign up for my email list. I will launch it in a similar way to how I launched the walk. I will give a large discount to everyone on this pre-order list. I will try to update everyone along the way with my progress. How do you keep yourself so skinny? Two reasons. First, skinny is like carved into my DNA. My family members are all skinny. Second, I'm very strong in self-control. No alcohol, no smoking, no coffee, of course. There is no dessert after dinner in my life except fruit. <laughs> I'm a fruit monster. I can and I will eat a few pounds of food a day. <laughs> if I want to eat snacks, it will be the savory kind, such as spicy and numbing beef, spicy and numbing fish, crispy seaweed. I don't eat that much sweet things, no cakes, no chocolate, no cookies. The only two unhealthy snacks that I eat will be gummy bear and chips, and I don't eat them often. Yes, I had a boyfriend since I before started the YouTube, and now I have a husband who recently got married. <laughs> That's all for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!